Hello guys and welcome to Steve Knows. I want to show you what new features are available in the version 15 update on the Oculus Quest because there seem to be some issues with it. I think that Facebook held back on this because they ran into some problems, but that's why they do it on a rolling basis. So if they do find out an issue, then it's not spread to the entire world, just the select few that they've enabled it for. So we have got the update pretty late for some people across the world, and I'm still running into some issues. So as we go through this, if you bump into some of the problems that I've had, please let me know. So I'm going to show you what I can, what's available, in the version 15 update so you guys can be made aware about what's new and you can enjoy it yourselves. So let's get started on this right now. This is the certified party link USB-C 3.0 cable for the Oculus Quest. It enables the Oculus Link so you can charge whilst playing the best PC VR titles on your Quest system. This is just the fraction of the cost of the official cable and it works brilliantly. It's actually the cable I've been using myself since day one and Upload VR recommended it too. It comes as a 10 foot option or a 16 foot option. With the 10 foot you do get a converter as well for those that don't have a USB-C port on their computers. Links in the description if you're interested in this cable. It also comes with a money back guarantee. So the first is the Guardian setup's been updated. There's a new animation, there's more instructional clips that are a lot more detailed, so it's safer for you to set up your Guardian. So here before when it was a man in a very non-detailed room, we've now got a female with a room that's got some furniture in it. This one has some furniture in it as well and it gives you an example where your play area should be. And it also defines how to extend your play area when you've already set up the Guardian. This wasn't previously there, it was just a square, just to highlight that draw on the floor to set your play space. So that's new. And also here shows up saying that you should be able to see the grid at this point, and this is going to be your boundary. So do not walk out of that area. The next one is you can now test your connection during the Oculus Link setup. So during the setup, there's a button that says test cable, and it can tell you whether or not your connection is compatible, the bandwidth that it provides, and the connection type. So in your setup, you'll see this, say you're connected, you'll click continue, That'll take you to your next screen and there's the test cable button. Give that a click, it'll run its diagnostics and give you back some specifications on that cable. Another one now, but you need your desktop software to be on version 15 and the headset to be on version 15. So when you're using the Oculus Link and you go to the settings, Quest and Touch, you can now adjust the Quest settings for the Oculus Link whilst it's being used. So here I was adjusting the volume, the volume was changing inside the headset, I was adjusting the audio from computer, and that was changing before and previously. I believe I had to reset my headset, at least from my memory that's what I had to do because this used to be such a pain when I wasn't getting any audio through my computer speakers when I was trying to record footage. So there's some social improvements now as well. If you get invited to a party, you can go to your mobile phone and accept the party link, and then you put on your headset and you'll just continue the setup from there. So this is a lot more seamless. Perhaps you're not playing virtual reality at that moment and your friend invites you, you'll be more aware and can jump into that party. There's also this feature that if you've blocked someone and you're joining a party, you will get a warning pop up saying, by the way, this does contain someone that you've blocked. So do you want to join it? They will be muted for you by default. And if you accept, you'll join the party and then I guess Take a guess at which one's blocked. Big big shout, big shout out to Reese and Jason for helping me do this just to test out these features. Appreciate it guys. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to help me out. Apparently the chat features here as well have also had an update. Their icons are updated, the labeling's improved so it's more consistent and a lot more clear when in use. I'd never really used this feature so I can't tell the difference. Let me know if this is the same or not because I don't actually have the new UI update that you're supposed to have but I'm gonna compensate that to show you what it should look like. So the notification screen now, if you go to notifications, it's all organized, it's not just this long list, you can change like social, uh, system notifications, my download notifications, or you can see them all if you wish. So it's a lot more organized, a lot more seamless, easier to use, which is always a plus. Also that page is no longer headlocked, so you can look around and the notifications page won't follow you around, it's just embedded in the screen and it doesn't follow you, which should help reduce motion sickness. Another feature that not everybody has is the speech to text. So here you would normally have like a microphone option where you can speak what you want to search, saying something like Beat Saber, and it will type Beat Saber out for you and you can search it. Can of beans, you can say that and it will type it in 
a little search here. Instead of you having to type, this just makes searching a lot easier, seamless, and faster. So something that's odd to me here is that if you go to the experiment settings, I do enable the new UI, yet it doesn't seem to work. But there's some images here of what it's supposed to look like. It's a lot more clean. There's no text on the notifications. There's just icons. And that's what the universal menu is supposed to look like. We also have a change for the in-game menu, but that only works if developers have enabled it. So this is an example of Beat Saber, that if you jump out of the game, you're still within kind of the setting environment. It doesn't take you back to the home and you have all of these quick options that you may want to use in games, such as casting, screen recording, and also the universal menu underneath as well, in case you want to do something else. Just making the experience more seamless again. In the update as well, they have a quick action section in the settings, which acts a bit like a speed dial, where you can quickly adjust something in your game from the click of a couple of buttons. This feature is probably one of the, my favorite. You double tap the side of your headset, and this enables the pass-through camera on demand. And it's literally a tap. It's not a double tap of a button. You tap the side of your headset, the left or the right side, and you will get this view. It will show you your guardian, and it will also show you the pass-through. So very helpful if you just need to quickly get a drink or something. Pretty sweet feature. Makes you feel pretty badass. One issue I do have with it, though, is that sometimes I'm picking up my headset, um, and it picks up a double tap, even though I'm just putting on the headset, which can be a little bit annoying. We also have a browser update, so you can use more than one browser at the same time. So I have three open. You can have three open at once. I've got YouTube, I've got Instagram, and I've also got Sports Up if you're into your sports. So you can watch a YouTube video, maybe a game's on that you don't want to miss the score, and some research on the right all at once. You can also have two screens if you wish and you can reorganize them by pressing the arrow so you put them left and right, right and left. What you can't do is have them either side of you, left and right. They have to kind of be left or middle or middle and right if you're just having two. But again, a great feature to make the user experience a much more seamless. Well, that's it from me today, guys. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope this made you aware of some new features available on the Oculus Quest. Subscribe to the channel, stick around for next time. Thank you to my patrons, you absolute legends. Happy gaming, guys. Good day.